Hey everyone, I'm Courtney and I have Phaedra and Nyx behind me, my two standard poodles. Today I'm going to be showing you the Milk Cosmetics She's in Party Stack. I'm wearing all of the colors on my eyes except for She's in Parties. I feel like it's a really nice cohesive stack. If you like the Milk Cosmetics eyeshadow formula, which I find it to be buildable and blendable, you'll love this. I absolutely love it. I feel like this formula is easy is easier for me to blend the colors together, so that makes it more user friendly for people who are not necessarily uh, professional makeup artists. So anyway, if you want to see the look that I put together using She's in Parties, just go ahead and keep watching. I've already applied eyeshadow primer and set it with setting powder. I'm going to apply ColourPop Say I Do with a fluffy brush, and I'm just applying this very lightly in the crease. The skin of my eyes is already slightly stained from a hot pink eyeshadow look I did last night. I'm switching to a Sigma E25 to apply Say I Do to the lower lash line. I'm using Melt Last Caress with the Urban Decay Iconic Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm using this to sort of define the crease. I'm gonna put it at the outer lid, at the lower lid. The outer lower lid at least. Just going over it with the big fluffy William 787 brush to blend the two colors together. I did take a minute to fill in my brows with ColourPop's Jet Set Black Brow Pencil. I'm applying Melt Mean Streak with the Sigma E36 brush to the outer V. Just trying to build up some depth to my eyes. love this brush because it's small and it's really great for hooded eyes. It fits like into the eye socket so you can put the crease or the deepest color right where you need it. I'm going back to that same Delium 787 brush and just blending these colors together. I'm going back with a bit of ColourPop Say I Do on that Delium 787 brush and just blending some more. Taking a clean Sigma E35 brush and softly blending in circles. If you're ever having trouble with getting a look blended out, grab a clean brush and try with try blending with that to see if that makes a difference. I'm using Melt Dark Matter at the outer V. with the Urban Decay Iconic brush. I'm doing horizontal left-right movements along with vertical, sort of like at a 90 degree type movements. I'm gonna put Too Faced Glitter Glue on my lids that are bare just because I wanna have an extra sticky primer for the next color that I use. I'm using the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow Brush to put Skeleton Kiss onto my lid. And I'm actually gonna put this color at the inner lower lid, too. I'm back with the brush that has the black on it and just sort of hitting the outer corner tight line with this Marc Jacobs pencil. It's not the most comfortable for tight lining. So I'm using this tiny little Wayne Goss brush. This is the A brush with more of that liner, and I'm just gonna line as close to my lashes as I can manage with it. All right, I'm gonna clean up the fallout. I just use my cellar water, and then I'm also using the edge of this to kind of pull my eyeshadow back towards the tip of my brow. All right, so I put some false lashes on and I just lined my lower waterline with this pencil from Sigma, which is called Final Touch. I'm gonna highlight my eyes with Makeup Geek Celestial. All right, now that I have my hair on, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can see the finished eye look. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial with the Milk Cosmetics She's in Parties stack. Please be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. 
If you liked this video, found it fun, entertaining, informative, or helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share. I love it when you share my videos. It really helps me out and I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that little subscribe button down below so you never miss my videos. Thanks so much for watching.